Hi you guys! So I am here with a winter boot guide. Um, this is sort of more of a fashion-y video and I am not the most fashionable person, more fashionable person on earth. I do end up going to school in a lot of sweat shirts and pants um, only because I feel like I don't have enough time to plan out decent looking stuff but sometimes I look okay, I guess. But um, these are just my tips and tricks on what to look for in boots, considering I know it is kind of nearing the end of winter, a lot of stuff will be on sale right now, which is great. You can find really good deals for boots that will last you a really long time. So yeah, um, I think there are a couple types of boots that you can go looking for. Um, my preference, I do want to mention that I do have a pair of Uggs. I don't plan on repurchasing them, just because I don't think I ever want a new pair like I don't think it's worth it um but they are really comfortable to like just slip on and go in the winter um they're kind of like the flip-flops of winter in my opinion like they're not worth a hundred dollars but I will slip them on and go and I, I do still wear my Uggs but um if you are looking for me to talk about Uggs I'm not going to talk about Uggs because I don't really wear them outside to school ever really. <laughs> so um, I will just get into the video on what I look for in boots and examples of boots I have. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy and keep on watching. So the first pair of boots are the tallest pair of boots I own and they are just plain riding boots. I personally think that these are a classic and that everyone should have a pair of knee-high riding boots because I think they go with absolutely everything, including for every season. You can wear them with dresses and shorts and you can wear them with jeans in the winter and they look really nice. Um, you can dress them up, you can dress them down. They're really super versatile and if you get a good pair of leather boots, which you can find for almost... You might be able to find them for under $100, um, even in the beginning of winter, definitely now at the end of winter um, when the sales are going on. That will last you maybe five years if you take care of them even longer, which is quite a long time and I don't plan on repurchasing a pair of other boots for a very long time. These boots in both black and brown, um, these are by the brand Bandolino. I don't really know. They're leather. They're from... Macy's, like a department store. Um, I personally go to department stores to buy good leather boots just because I know that the quality will be there. If you're looking for cheaper options, I will definitely make a blog post about it and I will link that down below on um, places you can find boots that are similar in style but not in quality. Um, but if you're looking for cheaper boots that aren't as expensive as the ones I'm showing. Um, but these are by the brand Bandolino. Bandolino? I don't know, they're cute. They're a cute like sort of different, more red-brown color than a normal boot is looks like that and then the bottom has just like classic buckle detailing that goes around there's a zipper um yeah and there's like a tiny little heel yeah these are really cute boots i really like them the leather is so so soft you can tell i've worn them a lot already um but i know that these boots will last me years and that is why i suggest investing in a, if you're going to invest in any pair of boots i suggest investing in these um just because i know that you will wear them forever as much as I will wear these forever and they will last you a really long time if you take care of them and make sure to clean them and you know do all of that jazz. Um, yeah so I really suggest looking for a pair of nice quality leather boots in my opinion you should invest in these um, any variety of colors that's sort of a classic more brown, brown and black is what I would lean towards if I were you. my opinion, um, shorter boots are more trendier boots. I don't really know that's my personal opinion, but I guess everyone has a different opinion. Um, so I have just a few pairs of shorter boots that I own that are sort of trendier pieces. Like this one is sort of like a more cowboy, western influenced boot. Um, brown leather yet again, but a different brown, more of like a cool tone brown versus the red brown that we had before. Sorry, my hair is super staticky right now. It's really annoying. Okay, and these ones have sort of like a ruching on them. Um, as you can tell, and then they sort of look more western inspired, and I wear these more in the spring and the summer actually with like shorts and bare legs, um, but they hit mid-calf, I will do a shot of what they look like on my feet and I'll insert it after every shoot so you can see what they look like, but they have a little heel and they sort of have a rounded heel, um, you can tell I've worn them a lot, but um, so these are interesting, and I actually got these at one of those discount stores like TJ Maxx, um, I think it was... TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I don't know, one opened up near me a while ago and I went in to check it out and I found these pair of shoes, they're around $30 which is pretty cheap 
and um, I picked them up because they were only around $30 and I thought I would wear them a lot. And I do wear them a decent amount, um, but I think if you're looking for trendier boots like that, definitely go check out um, sort of more discount brands um, like TJ Maxx and, I mean discount stores, not brands. <laughs> Like, TJ Maxx and Marshalls and um, whatever else is around you. I guess you live in the South Ross. Um, and they usually have sort of well-made boots or trendier boots for really cheap. So if you are looking for something that's on trend, but it's not really a classic, like a riding boot would be with sort of classic detailing, which you're looking to invest in, you can definitely go and look for cheaper options for trendier boots like those. Which I recently picked up these pair of boots and these are I don't know how to explain them I went on a huge retail therapy like shopping spree um, this weekend actually and yeah um, so I picked up a lot of stuff and this was one of the things <laughs> this is from Macy's um, these boots are from Macy's and I think they are they're from the brand Lucky I don't really remember how much they are I picked them up for. They weren't on, I didn't buy them for full price definitely, but they're from the brand Lucky with like the little leaves on them, which is really cute. And they, I think they retail for around 150 I don't quote me on that though. But um, these are real leather, like the first pair of boots I showed you. Um, and these are sort of the more feminine take on a combat boot. Um, so it has the lace up like a combat boot, but there's no other detailing and there's actually a little heel on it. Um, which is different and they kind of remind me of those shoes. I call them my Jane Austen shoes and my friends do too. Um, I wear these a lot as well. Um, they remind me of okay, They remind me of like do you know when in Pride and Prejudice? I don't know if you watched the movie before but I've Become obsessed with it and have become like some weird hopeless romantic over the past few weeks um, Anyways, so she wears like shoes like these with like long dresses and like her petticoat and everything and they remind me of like the shoes in the 1800s that people would wear that are like nice leather boots that just lace up and that's it and these are what they look like so anyways these are really cute these again are kind of trendy but kind of not so that's why i decided to splurge a little bit on them just because um they're not as trendy as the other boots i showed you which i would never wear for more than a few seasons whereas these i will probably wear them into college i'm a senior right now in high school so like yeah, they're really cute and they're nice quality. They're really nice quality. They're super 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 duper 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 comfortable, um, and I just love them. I'm obsessed with them. So yeah, um, those are my tips on how to shop for winter boots, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out my Twitter and my blog. Those are down below. The blog post will also be posted down below if you want to check that out. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a great day. Bye.